Hi, everybody. My name is Ron Nahum, and today I'll be presenting about developing accessible medical systems with computer vision and machine learning. So this is a central part of the future of medicine and something that many believe is the key to improving global health. So before jumping into things, I'll just start with a little bit about myself. I'm a rising senior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Fairfax County, Virginia. And throughout much of my time in high school, I've worked in research and app development at the intersection of computer science and medicine. And I've done this especially working to increase healthcare access. Uh, beyond this work, I'm also the president of Project Kalis, where I lead a team of students to build the first ever high school liquid fueled rocket. Uh, I'm also the captain of my school's machine learning and computer vision clubs, which will definitely come in handy in this presentation today. And I enjoy uh, playing soccer and acoustic guitar. So as you most likely know, I'm here today to talk to you about a topic relating to global health. But global health has many varied definitions, and it's kind of hard to sometimes understand what exactly it is. But a leading definition that really encompasses many of the ideas in a lot of the various uh, definitions that are out there is one by Copland et al., where they described it as an area for study, research, and practice that places a priority on improving health and achieving health equity for all people worldwide. So to begin my exploration of global health, I'll start off with a jarring figure. More than 3.5 billion people, or over half the world's population, lack access to essential health services, according to the World Health Organization. And this figure is from 2017, before the COVID-19 pandemic created further setbacks. Based on Copland et al's definition, global health is measured by the well-being of the least well-off in society. And we can see today that there are great disparities that exist, and there's a great lack of access to key medical information, diagnoses, and other health resources in many low-income areas and resource-poor health systems. New research in computer vision and machine learning applications really shows promise to revolutionize the field of global health. But before we get into just how they can achieve that, what even is computer vision? What even is machine learning? Computer vision is a class of algorithms which, as the name suggests, visually interpret the world through processing of images and videos. This often involves extracting numerical data from visual data. And this can be like object detection, object classification, or object tracking. Many computer vision algorithms also actually use machine learning, which are a wider ranging class of algorithms in which computers learn from data and improve with experience. Machine learning is used in a wide variety of fields to classify, cluster, and predict outcomes based on input information. And this ability makes it a key partner to the data produced by computer vision. So here are just some very quick examples of how computer vision and machine learning have been applied. On the left, you can see uh, fundus disease uh, through uh, retinal images. And also you can see cancer detection um, from image sources. And so both of these kind of show you uh, just a little bit of a taste of how computer vision and machine learning can look at images with application to medicine. So why computer vision and machine learning in medicine? Well, computer vision enables incredibly accessible data collection. Since all you need is just a smartphone or another standard camera, these systems can be set up at home or in office and come at little to no additional cost if one has access to a camera. Computer vision also produces a great amount of data and machine learning enables the use of this information for new and highly accurate insights. Data extracted by computer vision systems can be something like coordinates of movement, but machine learning can then use this data to form a diagnosis for a disease or assess a patient's range of motion. So it kind of takes it a step further from data to insight. And furthermore, as, a, as computer vision systems kind of generate more and more data, machine learning algorithms can learn and improve over time. So I've given you a general idea of what machine learning and computer vision are and what their power uh, can be. But here's a look at how I've applied them in a few examples and giving you an idea of their full potential. So one system I developed is Camotion which is a system for quantifying cervical range of motion using just a single standard camera. And Camotion analyzes videos of patients turning or tilting their head. And it uses face tracking algorithms uh, to track the position and angle of the face over time. And this enables three-dimensional plotting, like you can see on the right, and an assessment of their range of motion. And you know, compared to the uh, standard of care, this system is less expensive, it's more accessible, and it's more accurate than these existing methods of measurement. Uh, the existing methods of measurement really primarily utilize cumbersome and sensor-filled helmets, and these can often affect data as you know, they're wearing a cumbersome helmet on their head, and they can only observe one axis at a time. So this system enables widespread access to better quality and more accurate information about neck range of motion, 
for use in physical therapy and whiplash injury assessment. And it can be used both at home and in office at little to no cost, which you'll see is a recurring theme of these kinds of systems. Another system I developed was in honor of my grandfather, who passed away from Alzheimer's disease in 2020. Over 6 million people currently suffer from the two most common types of neurodegenerative diseases, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, in the United States alone. However, despite advances in modern technology, the diagnostic process for these diseases is expensive, long, complex, and ultimately inaccurate, leading to poor treatment outcomes. Delays in this diagnostic process often mean that diagnoses take two to three years, causing patients to miss out on valuable time for treatment and decision-making. And furthermore, due to these barriers to diagnosis, only 50% of patients with neurodegenerative diseases are ever diagnosed. So to combat this problem, I developed PANDWRITING, an accessible system for diagnosing both Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases using just a standard camera, pen, and paper through videos of handwriting. I developed novel computer vision algorithms to analyze patient fine motor movements in videos of their handwriting, which were captured with a regular smartphone. From the information extracted by the computer vision algorithms, I was able to derive features which describe fine motor movement ability, and then develop a machine learning system to classify patients based on this data. Now, the most important aspect here is that the system achieves an accuracy rivaling that of a clinical process that takes multiple years in a test that takes just a few minutes to administer and comes at little to no cost. The implications for global health are clear, as pandrending is inexpensive, highly accurate, fast, and easily repeatable. The applications of pandrending are incredibly wide ranging, from in-office diagnostic testing to regular early screening to uh, at-home long-term monitoring through telemedicine. And furthermore, as I mentioned before, as more data is collected with the pandwriting system, the system can improve over time and gain a better understanding of differences between diseased patients and healthy patients. This improves not only the diagnostic accuracy of pandwriting, but also the field's understanding of fine motor movements and neurodegenerative disease progression as a whole. So to put it all together, computer vision and machine learning enable the development of inexpensive and accessible medical systems that can be used at home or in office. These systems are capable of data collection and analysis, aiding in both diagnostic testing and monitoring treatment effects over time. This widespread access to medical information and insights that's enabled by these systems is the future of medicine and key to improving global health. I encourage everybody here with the slightest interest in both medicine and computer science to explore how we can use computer vision, machine learning, or both in a variety of medical fields, as there are so many different applications where we can leverage these novel algorithms to bring up the baseline of global health. So here are my references if you'd like to read a little bit more about the field. I'd also like to thank uh, Dr. Zoran Durich, Dr. Lynn Gerber, and Mr. Kyle Jackson for providing me with advisement throughout the research process of each of the projects that I discussed here, and also my parents and sisters for supporting my work over the past few years. Thank you everybody for listening and uh, coming to my presentation today. Thank you to the conference team for organizing this amazing opportunity. Uh, and if you'd like to reach out to discuss the field as a whole or just ask any questions, I'm always more than happy to talk about it. So feel free to email me at ronhoffman13 at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.